Prosper here again with uh, Andy, one of the main men behind this great festival, Rock and Metal Circus. Welcome. Thanks very much. So how did this come about? Um, it was something with Sam Hill who, who, who got us involved. Um, basically, about a year ago, it, it sort of, there was the conversation at Download between Chubbs out of Black Acid Souls, Flake and Black Acid Souls, and Sam at Download. Let's, let's do our own festival. And then, six months ago, they got me involved. So, and we're here today on a yeah. nice, glorious, sunny day. Look at the weather, it's phenomenal, isn't it? So. Now, you, funny you mentioned the Black Acid Souls. The first question I'd like to ask you about the Black Acid Souls in particular yeah. is um, what's this international incident that you caused recently? <laughs> no, 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 no comment on that one, I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come I'm on, good. it's only us. No, we, we got, I got very drunk the other night, and um, apparently, I can't remember much about it, but you know, obviously I was told. Uh, we, there was, like, there was some kids running around, but this lot didn't believe me anyway, because I was having anyway, but yeah. there was, so. So we ended up getting a cop of that. A, a nice drunken incident, that's... Yeah, well... We, we, we all discuss. I, don't, I don't drink that often, so I have to make up for it and come like this. I just thought, as I wasn't here and it was mentioned, I just thought, I'd best find out. I know he was dead when I see him later. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, other, the other question with the Black of Souls, last night, the drummer, Hoff. We had his nice little face mask on covering him. Yeah, it's just to keep us so so he didn't pull all the kids off. That's why I was in the, in the crowd. <laughs> it's just that ugly. You know, he has to cover it up. <laughs> no, no, it's just because obviously it's called Rock Metal Circus. We've got some flower masks and um, people are sort of messing around and that. So, yeah. it's all um, good fun. All yeah, fun. I mean, I, I'm probably speaking for everyone here, but we're absolutely loving this. It's a nice little intimate yeah. venue. Yeah. Yeah. We've already um, booked in 20 bands for next year. I believe so. I've seen yeah. them must, dotted everywhere. Yeah, we're, so. we're sharing it as much as we can. Yeah, so. Now, is it not, is, is it, am I right? It's not just the Rock and Metal Circus next year. You've got something in. We've got something in the part of the line, but we're just looking at the venue, looking at the venues for it at the moment. So, so that's still, so. still, still, yeah, still, still there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Manchester needs a venue. Yeah. yeah, we need to. We need to sort some out. We we want to put on either a charity festival or something around Manchester way yeah. because we think it's burnout. out. What you guys can do this, I'm sure we could sort something out. Because yeah. yeah. I think that's what that's what we're crying out for, really. The well, band well, the, the whole the whole thing, Raw Rock came back from Sam, and then now we're now we're branching out into stuff like band management, band yeah. booking. And um, we've got four or five bands we're booking for at the moment. Right. So, so it's gone from being just being a festival thing to yeah, it's, it's opened of, itself yeah, up. Yeah. So it's working out quite so, nice. And every, and every, everybody's involved. The backgrounds. Music industry based anyway. Yeah. So. And obviously with your history, your history and everything anyway. Yeah, my history, yeah. <laughs> Twenty seven years in the business this year. Great. Yeah. Still going Good. strong and you still getting to put on <laughs> sometimes I wonder. <laughs> well Well yeah, but when you when you when you put see things like this like this weekend, the amount of yeah. bands that are turned up, the amount of good feedback you're getting from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I mean yesterday every everybody was impressed with yeah, everybody. And when when you, st when you stood out there and you're watching pe people's faces smiling all the time, you know, because they really enjoy themselves, and you know, it, you know, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, of course, of course it does. Yeah. Like I say, first of all, when we looked at where it was going, we were going, really? Yeah. Where, where, what, why? And then you come here and you think everything's in yeah. its. Well, you've got enough room for campsites, you've got people want to bring caravans over this side, yeah. you know? Pub just down there. Pub just down the road, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just over the other side of the canal. Yeah, and you're not restricted by uh, which a lot of festivals can be with noise at a certain time. No, we, we have a curfew at one o'clock. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's just brought out between us and, and the, the, the lady who owns this place. Yeah. So just to make it a bit easier on the residents that way, the residents not like the residents. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, Raw Rock behind the whole of this now. It's your, 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 your venture permanently now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we, we, we sort of, um, yeah, we started doing band management, which is my background anyway. Um, and band booking, that's the reason why they got me involved in the first place. So, get me back into what I do best. Basically. Well, this is it. Whether you were thinking you were of, of pulling it back in or not, it's a different Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't got much say in the matter now, really. No, but, yeah. no, no. Well, like I say, it's. With, with the bands that you've currently got under your book, obviously um, with, with Black Acid Souls and. Black Acid Souls and the self titled they're on tonight, they're, they're our two management bands, but we've also booking for Hangfire X UFO, which is not X UFO now, it's called. They've called the House of X. They played the very last gig at XUFO last night here. Right. So that was a bit of a coup for us as well. Yeah. yeah. And they were an absolutely amazing band. So, yeah, so. so uh, you, um, I was speaking to a band that we've had sort of dealings with, uh, Chemicals of Democracy, and they said that they're doing something with you now. Is that right? Yeah, they're doing this next year. Yeah. 
come over from the States to come and play this. I actually new. said oh. to him on Facebook, we need you guys there, and he said, I'm already yeah. down. We're doing it through, because Chris, Chris Angry just has like Dark Lord Records, yeah. and Chemical Democracy on, their, on his label. So it's sort of it's gone from yeah. being, oh, we'll just go in the studio and record a, a three-track EP with Black Ass Assault, it's gone, it's gone that yeah. bit further. And Dark Lord want to get involved with stuff with us. And, so. John's already here. <laughs> yeah. Now, we had, we had a conversation a while ago, but, and I mentioned No Raza to you, and they were, yeah. they were interested in working with, oh, you had them. Because I was working for Stormblaze Entertainment at the time, I was running the UK office for that, um, right. and No Raza on Stormblaze America, right. in South, South America. The, we had a, but since that's, that's changed now, that's a little right. bit differently, so. Because I still, I'm, I know the boss, and I w mm. would love for them to come across, because at the moment we've got no time to go over there to see them. Mm. That, this is it, and the thing is, we can't, there's not enough money to, because they're fairly unknown over here, yeah. there's not, no venue's going to touch them, no venue's actually having anything. No, they've got a they've, they've they've got, jump on us, yeah, they have, yeah, tour yeah. and things. The thing is, if, if, if they came over and played a couple of festivals, and they got to know, then 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 venues want them, then venues look to yeah, them and think, oh, it's a bit different. It's like everything, the money's yeah. unfortunately just yeah. dried up and it's the thing is the industry at the moment it's it's it, it's 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 probably one of its all time lows really. It's a shame because the amount of bands that are that are out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Unsigned ones, there's some great unsigned ones. Yeah. You look look at the bill here, three three quarters of our bill are unsigned bands. Yeah. You know, and you think you know, like the hang five today, no one signed. Yeah, yeah. Like so, yeah, they managed head, to get head rush the same, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a shame, really, isn't it? Yeah. Because ten years ago, fifteen years ago, they'd all be signed, they'd yeah. all be yeah. getting some money out. All of it. the big labels be on straight on for bands like that. Yeah, but yeah. now no one can be asked. It's all no, it's, just, it's gone. For it's gone like yeah, it is, yeah. And I think I think the good thing that pledge music, which is, which started up, I think that's that's really worked well for a lot of bands. I mean, Seven Deadly, their their albums on pledge music. Yeah. So I mean, they're on later tonight, and yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few what, who I would consider to be established great mm. bands. Mm. Soil were doing it. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's a great idea to get the money so you're not losing too much. Because yeah. obviously if you put all your money into it, you've got to try and get that back. Yeah. And it also gives something back to the fans, doesn't it? Yeah. A nice yeah. little touch. Yeah, I think, and I mean, Alt Fest have gone on the same route with theirs. Yeah. What they've done is they've gone, they've gone and um, got the, the backing from some of the some project come from, so they can actually release tickets and, and get the money, get the money back that way. Which was what, you know, which I think is, well, well you've got people out like prepared to you know, do that sort of thing. It's like, like the pledge music thing, I think it's an amazing thing to do. It's just having that for those people who in your fan base who are prepared to get that go that a little bit further. Yeah, and if, you know. and if, the, if they are true fans, they generally will yeah. Yeah. help out. Especially in this, I mean, in, in, in the rock and metal you know, fraternity really, in the day, which people are out all the time. Yeah, we're all, it's the same people going to the same festival, yeah. same yeah. media, you see all the same faces. Yeah. It's nice, I mean, because you all know each other. And it's like you know, it's like the bands who come. A lot of the bands who are here, I've I've worked with over the years, or I've no you know a no band member, or you know, and they come in. It's like like not seen, yeah, they're not probably not seen for three or four years. Yeah. And then they come in. It's like oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's a nice big family, yeah. which is yeah. how it should be at the end of the day. It's very it's very very close knit family. Well, think about it. So. Yeah. Is it obviously this weekend is the same weekend as the infamous Rock in Rio festival? Is there is any it? reason why you've chosen? The, I, it, I had nothing to do with the two. Is that the aspiration to get it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about Sam. Yeah. I don't know. It might have been. Some, it, some, was, some it was something we found the other day. We didn't realise, and it was just because YouTube had the live streaming of the main stage. Yeah. Which obviously, when you, it's, it's a great idea. Yeah. There's so many, so many um, venues now do that, so fans yeah. can't get. Could that be an option for next year? Well, we obviously had a discussion with the guys from Rock Launch and Twister, and they and they want to if if we can get um, a Wi-Fi a live internet feed proper yeah. hardwired one, they want to they want to broadcast from here next year. Yeah. So that could be that's like the step that little yeah. step closer and closer to what we do. So yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's all it's all potential, but at the end of the day, first one it's going yeah. so well. Let's not Phenomenal. let's not. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, let's not jinx it, yeah. Which I would tell this is soon get me in enough trouble. Yeah, yeah, but I think, um, I mean, every band, we've not had a bad comment off any band. No. Yeah, we've lived every minute of it, you know. Yeah. Now, I've got to mention the wonderful charity that's involved. Yeah, the BBRF, which the is BBRF. the British Biker Relief Foundation. Obviously, Black Acid Tolls. We're the patrons, yeah. Yeah. We're the patrons, yeah. So, it's, it's perfect, nice fitting, yeah. everything works out. But the Black Acid Tolls always been involved. Um, only, I think it's only about the last year, 
when right. since, the, since, the, since the set it up and then I think that's when you yeah. I don't really know much about it because obviously I've, I've come in a little bit later on from when they were on the yeah, yeah. when you saw it so yeah. Yeah, can you, can you see, like I say, the more we the more we find, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have a chat with them later on anyway yeah. to find out a bit more about them because they're doing great things, yeah. and anyone that's doing great things needs to get some exposure yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So that's great. Well, Andy, thank you very much for that. No, no. I'm gonna let you go back to being busy again. I'm not. I've got an hour off. <laughs> so I'm not gonna spend me hour with you. What? Yeah. <laughs>